Oh my gosh. I have never caught one this big. And that was the first flip with that. Oh my gosh. What is going on guys? Justin back here with another video. Today I'm at my local lake and I'm gonna be fishing for bass. Today I'm gonna be using two rods primarily. I'm gonna be using a rattle trap rod and I'm also gonna be using a flipping rod with a small flipping bait on it. Uh, my goal is to obviously catch bass. So without wasting any time, let's just get right to it. All right guys, so I'm out here at my local lake again. And right now I'm just fishing a rattle trap off this point. It's probably pretty windy right now, so it might be a little hard to hear me, but like I was doing in my last video, I'm just yo-yoing it, kind of ripping it through the weeds, trying to see if I can get any reaction strikes first. And then if this doesn't work, I'm going to start probably flipping into some of these lily pads uh, to see if there's any bass staged up in there yet. And then uh, if I come across beds, I have a small finesse crawfish lure tied on that will hopefully be able to catch me a fish out of that. I only have like about an hour right now to fish, so I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can before I have to go to work, and then I'll probably be able to come out for a little bit after work too, to try and make a productive video out of this. There's a bass. I thought I was snagged, but I actually got a bass right here. It's not a bad one, he's just a little guy. He's fat though, which matters. And he seemed to get all those treble hooks pretty much. That was probably around my fifth or sixth cast. Got that little guy. He's pretty fat, as you can see. Definitely feeding up, but he's a cool little fish. Gonna get a release on this guy. So, there's the fish. Not a bad guy. We're just gonna let him go. Oh. I don't know where he went, but. All right, cool. So, like I said, that was fish number one. And that guy came off of this little rattle trap right here. Just a little rapple of rip and wrap. I was almost done my cast, pretty much. I was reeling it on the edge of these lily pads bouncing it up and down and I thought I snagged a lily pad but it was just a fish that came out and grabbed it so that's a good sign considering I've been here for about five minutes today all right I'm gonna switch up I'm gonna start flipping this little havoc pit boss around with a one quarter ounce tungsten weight I'm just gonna be flipping it into like the gaps and stuff of these lily pads Oh, there's a bass on the first cast, or something. That's it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I have a huge snake head on. I have never caught one this big. And that was the first flip with that. This thing is huge. I don't know how big this is, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to flip him, he's so big. Oh, he might break my rod. I'm just gonna kind of wear him out. I got him right in the top of the head, so he shouldn't come unhooked. I'm gonna let him kill all his energy. This thing has to be at least five pounds. All right, I'm just gonna kind of flip, drag him in. Oh my gosh. Guys, this thing is huge. I don't even know where to grab this guy. He's so big. There we go, all right. Finally got the hook out of them. I 
I just want to show you guys what that snakehead did to my hook. His mouth is so strong that when I tried to unhook him, it wouldn't come out, and it just it just destroyed my wide gap hook. Um, so I got that guy actually on a little pit boss, and I was just flipping it into the lily pads over there. That was actually my first cast, as you guys probably saw. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. I literally dropped it in, and then I just saw my line running, and I didn't even think I had a fish at first, and then I set the hook and he ran off with it. Okay, so I had just retied due to my hook being all jacked out of place. I just retied and I'm starting to fish again. Like I said, I'm just flipping into these lily pads and I was not at all expecting that to be a snakehead. Had a fish. There's a fish. All right. Oh, he's a dark guy. Well, there's a bass. He got right in the side of the lip. So that's a cool looking bass. He's got some dark spots on his tail. Don't really see that much in here. Dark spot on his fin. And another dark spot right there. But that's cool. Get the release on him. All right. Get the other release on him. He's a nice looking fish. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, oh, there he goes. All right, cool. So that was the second fish on the little Havoc Pit Boss. I believe this color is called like Big Texan or something. I don't know, it's the orange and orange and brown color. That's kind of like my go-to color here. All right, so I see some bait fish jumping around out here. So before I have to call it and go to work, I'm just gonna get a couple casts right out here with the rattle trap. See if I can pick up one more bass before I have to go in. There's a good bass. Yep. So I saw a small bait fish out there. I threw my small lure out there. And this guy, he's got a muddy bottom. Muddy belly, he must have been laying on the bottom and saw this come by. Oh, another nice bass. This is gonna be the last one. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple more cats before I have to leave for work, but here's another bass. Oh, I dropped him on a stick. There he goes. Now he's in the mud. There he goes. All right. Keeps putting his face in the mud. But, so that's the third bass of the day so far. All right, that's gonna be my last cast, and then I gotta leave for work. All right, guys, well, I gotta go to work now, so I'm gonna be about three hours, but for you guys, it's gonna be about two seconds, so I'm gonna meet you right back on this path in a few minutes. There's a bass. All right. He got it kind of weird. <laughs> well, since the water got a little bit calmer and the wind died down, I changed my retrieve up from yo-yoing just to a regular straight retrieve, a nice slow straight retrieve. This little dude hit right as it was coming in through the lily pads, so. Nice little release. Just a little dude, but the little ones deserve the respect too. Cool. Oh, that fish just, that was crazy. I saw that fish chasing it all the way up. That was really cool. That fish, I saw him waking up as I was pulling it through those lily pads over there. And I kind of stopped it and he grabbed it and I set the hook on him and just kind of flipped him up and then he fell off the hook. But that was really cool. Oh, good, there's a light back there. So you guys should be able to see that. That's awesome. All right, again, another nice fish. They're all really healthy this time of year. Send them off. 
perfect. That was so cool. I'm really glad that happened. That was a good way to end my night. All right, guys. So um, on that note, I'm gonna end today's video. Today, when we came out here this afternoon, I ended up catching three bass and one big snakehead. I got the snakehead and one bass on the flipping bait, and I got two bass on the rattle trap. When I came out here tonight, I only ended up catching two bass, but they were both on the rattle trap, and it was after I changed my retrieval to just a straight retrieve from a yo-yo retrieve because the water calmed down. Obviously, you guys saw me release that snakehead into the water. Um, it's something that I just started doing if I catch a snakehead. Uh, I'm, I'm personally not a fan of killing them, and I don't think that killing them does anything to change the way that it's going to be. These fish are in here, and they're in here to stay, and we might as well just make the most of it and consider them another game fish. Many people have their own opinions, um, whether they eat fish that are other game fish or not, it doesn't really matter. Me killing one snakehead isn't going to make much of a difference. Um, obviously if a bunch of people did that then there would be a difference but you know they're still going to be in here and they're still going to be babies and that's not going to matter. Despite the potential backlash I would like you guys leave down in the comment section below what you would have done if you caught that snakehead. Whether you would have killed it, put it back, eaten it, um, whatever your opinion and, and what your actions would have been. Leave that down below. I would like to know what you guys do with them. Saying that your opinion most likely will not change mine on the subject and I'll probably continue to release them but maybe I'll read a, a comment and and it'll make me change my mind but as of now I will continue to release the snake heads anyway thank you for watching the video if you guys liked it definitely hit the thumbs up button and make sure you hit the subscribe button below it really means a lot and it really is going to help me out for the future like always thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video